Break it all down. This morning's rain is getting lighter by the hour. I think about by lunchtime, you should see almost no rain outside. Clouds are going to stick around, but these showers that are up in the mountains now and sprinkling across parts of the eastern upstate, they're all on their way out. So it's just a temporary time this morning before all this rain kind of squeezes out over the mountains and gives us a drier afternoon. Future cash shows it pretty well. Even by 7 a.m., we're approaching that here in the next 45 minutes. Most of the rain will be to the east towards Charlotte and Gaff. By about midday, we'll only see a sprinkle or two left, and the afternoon looks almost entirely dry. So this is good news for a lot of us. The changes then come late tonight, so enjoy the brief break you get from the rain this afternoon. Late overnight, the rain returns to our area by 3 or 4 o'clock Friday morning. We could have soaking rain back in our region. Uh, Friday afternoon, look at this. You get to midday a major soaker. Friday afternoon is not the day you want to run any errands, head out to lunch. It's, it's kind of a day to stay indoors. We're talking a possible flooding rainfall. It lasts all the way until about six o'clock in the evening. The heaviest rain, of course, does fade before then, but it's not until Saturday that the dry weather takes back over. We could see upwards of an inch and a half, even two inches of rain across a lot of our area throughout the day on Friday. That does bring some flood concern. So a flood watch is in effect starting uh, Friday morning very early and then lasting until early Saturday morning. It's for the central upstate northeast Georgia and the southernmost mountains. We could see a flood concern area wide. It's just these are the locations along the 85 corridor and northward that it's most significant as far as the threat. The good news is we clear out over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday end up gorgeous. You'll have sunshine highs in the 60s, really feeling great after a soaker on Friday. This morning, starting out pretty comfortably. It's in the 40s and lower 50s right now. You obviously need jackets, rain gear, uh, at least to start the day. Your afternoon should warm up nicely. Fog is not a huge problem, but we are seeing some of it in Easley, Pickens, Clemson, Chacoa, up to Cullowee, Silva, and those out near Waynesville. Just be aware that fog is starting to develop in those locations. Today's temperatures don't warm up that much. 56 degrees with afternoon clouds, but less rain. Mountain towns today, you get up to about 53 degrees with early showers fading and then a drier afternoon. So as we rate the day, the Carolina sky meter is not as nice as yesterday. It's a five out of 10. We went from an eight yesterday down to a five today, and it's likely to be about a two tomorrow with even more heavy rain coming. Luckily, though, after a 55 degree day with soaking rain on Friday. Your days on Saturday and Sunday will be gorgeous. I say perfect 10 both days in the low to mid 60s. Even Monday of next week stays pretty nice in the mid to upper 60s with sunshine. But Tuesday yet again brings another small chance for showers, though it won't be nearly the heavy rain we see tomorrow. Now we want to get to your riding forecast sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. Luckily, the rain will move out just in time for some great weekend riding conditions. The mornings will be a little chilly, but the afternoons look great. Nice and sunny both days in the 60s. Mountain towns, there is a small chance for a stray shower early Saturday morning. But if you wait till a little bit later to get out and about, it'll be in the 50s with sun and then back to the 60s on Sunday. Chris, I know you're watching the roads at least this morning. Not the best for early travel. Yeah, it's